So this is then something that most of you have seen already or familiar with uh, our Cochrane training website. This is the home page, and I'll start with a well, broad overview of what we have already on it. Um, first of all, we have this four, this this top menu with four main areas: online learning, learning events, guides and handbooks, and trainers networks. And that's where our, our content lies. And and I'll show you some of it uh, later on. But on on the home page, we also have other things like uh, training news and updates. And uh, we are uh, updating this with the links to new resources, uh, modules, new webinars, upcoming webinars, uh, new webinar recordings, and uh, also upcoming face-to-face -face, uh, trainings that we um, that we receive from various Cochrane groups. So that's something that we are updating regularly, and you can you can check what's new uh, as soon as you come to the homepage. And then we have uh, a couple of featured resources, and I'll come back to some of them later. Uh, we feel that these are perhaps the most important, or probably more most useful or interesting to uh, the majority of our community, uh, Cochrane community uh, learners. So let me. Uh, show you what's in in this uh, under these uh, areas here. Uh, the biggest area is probably online learning, and within this online learning, it's last year that we uh, reorganized our content into what we called collections. Um, and you see here we have collections around broad areas uh, or topics like Cochrane methodology, course software, Cochrane reviews, editorial policies, consumer involvement, knowledge translation, and I'll come to, to that a bit later, um, review author started kit, and editorial essentials, which is a, 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 again a new portal that, that's uh, uh, aimed primarily for people who are uh, working in various editorial roles in Cochrane. So these collections, uh, they hide behind themselves a lot of content. For example, if you go to Cochrane methodology, you'll see, again, a range of sub-pages uh, or sub-collections. Uh, and you see interactive learning, we'll look at it a bit more later. And then a collection on grade approach, common errors in reviews, that's methodological uh, errors, DTA reviews, network meta-analysis, and core methods in non-English languages. So all of these are, again, collections. And just to give you a sense what it is when you have, for example, a great collection, you can find slide cast, guidance, some learning module, webinar, books. So it's a variety of resources around this particular topic. Importantly, you have this uh, content line here, which we call breadcrumb trails. And uh, you can you can you can see where you are in this hierarchy of pages. So we've been to Cochrane methodology. You can come back to it, or you can move uh, a step higher to online learning and and and, and go back to those uh, main uh, areas or topics of content that we have in under online learning. So um, so this is how those uh, this content is organized. But of course, you can also use a, the search box here whenever you want to find the specific topic, like for example, grade. You can you can look for that specifically, search for that, and you'll get, for example, in this case, 63 search results, um, uh, like portal on grade approach. There's some resource handbook resource. There's a face-to-face -face workshop in Australia. Uh, soon around grade and then interactive modules, videos, slide cast, and so on. And you can filter all that in the search results by different you know, criteria, type of review topics, and so on. So this is the other way how you can get to the content you want on our pay on, on our website. So uh, we hope that that that's also I mean that that works fine and you will find useful. Okay, so that that's online learning. Moving to the next area <clears throat> is learning events, and this is where we list uh, uh, all the uh, training events that are uh, happening, uh, either face-to-face -face trainings uh, on site or some online events like webinars and so on. So everything's listed here, and it's all across across the world. You have some some trainings in Australia, in Netherlands, UK. Russia, whatever we receive as a, as an announcement uh, of Cochrane training, we we put it here. And again, you can filter your results uh, uh, by different criteria, topics, region, course type, and so on. 
part of it, and or this this also links to Cochrane Learning Live, which is a, a, a specific resource that I will come back to to a bit more later. And uh, okay, so these are learning events, uh, guides, and handbooks. So of course, uh, obviously, you'll find the Cochrane Handbook here, DTA for uh, handbook, Great Handbook, Messier, Messier Standards. Cochrane Style Manual and Information Specialist Handbook. So, so this is a, a place for reference uh, books, handbooks, and so on. Um, and then final part is Trainers Network Area, um, which at the moment has uh, access or a link to standard auto training materials, which are presentations that are used in face-to-face -face learning training. Um, uh, some archive material from our training week uh, that we delivered uh, two years ago. And then form for uh, joining the trainers network. And uh, Chris Chris Watts will uh, talk about our plans for uh, expanding the trainer support for trainers uh, in this year and next year uh, later on. Okay, so since half of you said you haven't seen uh, our Cochrane Interactive Learning, I think this is important uh, to show because this is uh, our, in a way, a flagship product. It's a suite of uh, now 10 modules with uh, over 10 hours of self-directed learning on how to do a systematic review of interventions, how to do a Cochrane review of interventions. And you can, when you come here, you can watch uh, a short video uh, yeah, introducing you to this uh, whole uh, course. And you see that these uh, these are uh, each of these are uh, uh, individual module on on different topics, uh, beginning from introduction, uh, writing the review protocol, searching for studies, and so on. Uh, first of them is now also available in Spanish. We are working to to translate also other to Spanish, and also uh, just last week we released uh, the new one the module on network meta analysis. So. Uh, even those who 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 have seen this uh, suite before, go ahead and uh, look uh, look look at this one. This is a, a new addition to the course. This course is developed uh, modularly, so uh, to provide a, a, a bite-size uh, learning, um, and so it serves also in a kind of a, also also as a kind of a knowledge base. In order to get there, there you need to have a Cochrane account, um, and you have to log in. Uh, details on the access is also available here uh, under new users and subscribers. Um, but if you uh, get in uh, in a module, you'll see uh, a welcome page, a bit of exp ex explanation how to use it, and then you get to the menu. A menu is the uh, is the, the main starting point from from learning. It's divided in sections like these blue stripes with topics on it, and then pages, individual pages, which cover bits of learning, uh, bits of content. And when you get into it, you'll see that this content is presented in, in various ways using various tools of interactivity. Um, the point of it is to, to keep you keep the interest of learners, so to say. So we are using videos like in this one here or animations. We are using questions um, that uh, users can, can go through and answer uh, cases. And then we get your feedback. For example, if you, if you, if you submit a question, you get some feedback when there's a learning and feedback, so on. So the point of it is that, first of all, it's, it's modular. You can, you can jump in into whatever uh, part you want. Or topic you are more, uh, more you are interested, and also it's it's quite diverse in terms of uh, how the content is presented, so that it keeps your interest. It doesn't become too boring. Uh, it has also the assessments at the end, and uh, you can take an assessment and get a certificate if you pass it. There are other features in that, but I invite you to explore uh, explore the course yourself. It's it's really useful. It's interesting, and uh, it's um, yeah something that. We're quite proud of, proud of. I think we've, we've spent uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, effort to build it. That's one of the one of the uh, 
things that I wanted to share. The other is, uh, of course, Cochrane Learning Live uh, webinar series. This is the program page, and you're attending this webinar, so you know about it. Just want to, to show you that we have the list of upcoming webinars. You can sign, get more info and sign up for, for each of them. But uh, importantly, we have this archive of, of webinars. And uh, I've just checked some uh, stats. We, since I think we've started the series two or three years ago, we've run 42 sessions, we had 2,700 attendees in all of these sessions. And all of our, web, our webinars are also, um, we are uh, sharing them as recordings. So for example, if you go to core methods and, and open one of the uh, webinars, then you can see that we have uh, the recording uh, edited in smaller bits so that it's easier to digest so that you don't need to watch 45 minutes in extent so you, you can just uh, find whatever part you are interested in. We also provide links and downloadable files as, a, as a, a additional resources for that. And so yeah so th these are learning resources in themselves. Uh, some of them receive quite a lot of uh, views afterwards think we have more than 70,000 video views for on, on, on our uh, webinar recordings. So yeah, these webinars are uh, organized in, in topics and you can have a look what we have here. Also recently we've added links to uh, webinars or webinar archives that were uh, delivered by other Cochrane groups like Cochrane Canada, Cochrane Neonatal and Cochrane South Africa. So it's a, it's a quite a comprehensive uh, well, collection of webinars here. Um, and the uh, final thing that I wanted to share you with you is this an, uh, a knowledge translation collection. It's, it's again a, a relatively recent thing that we developed, developed last year around the colloquium. And it's perhaps a, a, a good example of, of how we are organizing content when we have a lot of it. So uh, together with, with our Knowledge Translation Department of the uh, Cochrane uh, Executive Team, we developed these pages based on uh, a wide range of resources that, that are available uh, to support learners of knowledge translation in Cochrane. And we've organized that in uh, several collections. So KT is a collection itself, and then we have sub-collections, and you'll see that it get, get, gets uh, uh, deeper and deeper, at least in some cases. But in, on this level, we have uh, collections on you know, intro to KT, uh, how to disseminate Cochrane evidence, how to prior setting, set the priorities, how to build the meaningful partnerships, improving the uptake of Cochrane evidence, and knowledge translation in multi-languages. So each of these, you know, there are uh, quite a lot of content behind it. For example, if you go to disseminating Cochrane evidence, there is another set of collections, and you'll see uh, dissemination policies and planning, dissemination essentials, and then traditional media like journals, newspapers, policy briefs, uh, all that you want to know about them and how to approach them, multimedia, social media, and presenting in person. So it's all divided, but remember there's always, there's always a, a way to track where you are on this hierarchy here on top. So we are uh, on the knowledge translation disseminating Cochrane evidence and we can go move on, for example, to disseminating policies and planning. And you'll see here, here's the page with uh, some advice and uh, tips and different links to tools, bullet points, uh, all this organized uh, in hopefully a useful way. and uh, None of these pages is too deep. That's why we went for this uh, uh, hierarchical structure. But it was a bit of a challenge how to organize all this in, in meaningful collections. And if you get, go to multimedia, for example, well, there's another set of collections because there's quite a lot of multimedia there uh, that you can work with. And then you can, for example, choose blogs or infographics. So if you go to blogs, again, you'll find resources, links, tips, uh, around various aspects of blog, and of course examples, and many of uh, many of these pages include examples uh, from Cochrane groups and so on. So that's how this is probably the biggest the biggest collection that we have at the moment. 
the collection with most content, but it's also pro probably uh, a good way of, uh, well, as a, as a showcase of how, how we are doing it and um, how you can find uh, the content that you're interested in.